brothers and sisters, uncle, auntie, grandma, everybody that are watching me, welcome to Africa News. My name is Bada Boloyangi. Before I start anything, I want to congratulate my wife, my second girlfriend, for winning this Oscar, Lupita. Baby, I'm waiting for you when you come back home. The Uganda. Ha, ah, thank God. I was waiting for people like this. I say no home, no to homosexuality. Two men can't get together. Two men. Just like the Bible says, two men can't get together. If you go there, they are going to kill you. I am telling you, they are going to kill you. So please, do not go there. If you know you are gay or you are happy, whatever, yeah, call, they call you guys, whatever. Or oh, two men, one man, or oh, whatever. Do not go to Uganda. They are going to get killed. I am surprised. The Algerian president want to run again. Again. Again, like the Miami Heat team, back to back to back to back. So he can't get tired of wanting a president. Why can't he let a lot of people be a president? Why you want to be a, the only millionaire? You want to run entire country by himself. Is this a dictatorship? Like the president from China, Japan, North Korea, whatever, they all look the same to me. Eh? Is this like the Russian president? Because I'm not the only dictator, Mobutu. And he passed away, he died. Can't you learn the lesson from him? I'm not going to say anything about it, no comment. But what I'm telling you, yeah, to learn. Open your eyes. Learn from Mobutu. So, Zimbabwe have eight currency. I guess when I'm coming back, when I'm running for the place, they might give my currency, they're going to have it to in their country. They have eight currency. Not from the old country, from outside. What kind of stuff is this? Your own country. They do not have your currency, but you are using another people. US, Gambia. Burkina Faso, China, eh, Canada, Congo. Ah! How about your self currency? You don't have it? You don't have time to make one? Eh? I'm asking you a president. I know you are watching this news because that's your favorite channel. Tell me. What kind of stupidity is this? Hello, this news, my brother and sister. Thank you very much. <laughs> Today, I have a funny news. Not funny, but it's surprising. People be lying for their age. There's this man from Cameroon, Joseph Minalo. He's 17 in Italy. Babako is 47. 47. 17. You see how many? I, I do not have my math in my head, so I can't do the calculator. I left school a long time ago. But no comment. We have him live today. I'm going to call my reporter today. Uh, he's going to tell you guys. He's there watching him practicing with his new team. He's a 17. He's playing on U17. He should play. He should even retire by now. Same age as Pele. Let's go, my report. Today, I'm here to interview one of the most talented soccer player. These people say he's old. Me, I say he's young. But today, we'll find out. My brother, mm -hmm. as you know, this is the news from 3 and Ice Production interviewing you today. Like my people, they are asking all over the world. They say they want to know you. Some people, they lie about your age. So, what is your real age? 17. <laughs> My people, it's 17, but look for the 7. God is wonderful. Really wonderful. So, you play striker? Midfielder? What position you play? Um, defense. Um, so, what are you going to say eh, to these people saying you are 47? Are you 47? No, I'm 17. Is he, um, is he, um, 17. You see, um, I tell you now, he's 17 years old. Anybody talk rubbish, rubbish, he's 17 years old. So what do you got to say to the fans that are saying you are 47? Tell them something. I can't say anything about that. I'm, I'm, 17. I'm 17. What he tried to say is that you can talk to his lawyer. He go show you an ID. As for me, as for me, I know he's 47. I don't need no proof. I'm from Nigeria. Where are you from again? Come on. It takes time to decide where he's from, but there's no problem. As you see us, we know where we're coming. As you know me, my name is Kalu, AKA on Mobaba number one. Anything else is nonsense. All right, we'll take you back to my news coaster. In Zimbabwe, the president, Mugabe, whatever your name is, I forgot, because I didn't study your name. I used to think that man was a foolish man, but now I know he's a smart man. He said that if he want, if Barack Obama, the president of the United States, want to allow gayness in his country, both of them got to get married. 
When I mean Mary, Mary, Obama, with I think Obama gonna be the woman, cause he's gonna look good with the woman stuff. Mugabe is going to be the man. Look at that ugly man. Look at that muscle in the face. Eh, think gonna be a woman? Nah. He said if you want that, Barack Obama have to go there. They gonna give Mary, and after that, they ain't gonna allow. Yeah, at the bottom, I know you are a smart man. Please, please, the president of the United States. I'm not saying this so you can deport me tomorrow. I'm just saying that to help you out. Please think twice. You are not going to leave your five seven foot long wife just to go marry to that ugly man from Zimbabwe just for him to allow gayness. Look at that man. Look at him. Look at him twice. That ugly man. Ugly, ugly man. Muscle here. Muscle here. He be lifting weight with his ear, with his nose, with this. Look at that. Ah. Look at that man, man. Look at that man. He an ugly man. Ugly man. When I mean ugly, ugly man. I am going to take a kangaroo over him. Or a chimpanzee over him. He an ugly man. God forgive me. So you are going to leave Michelle Obama. I know she is fine. Eh? But you are not going to leave a fine woman like that. You got married like that. Maybe you are bi. Who knows? But I know you are not bi. So please, chill. Go and think about it. But please, please, do not go married to that ugly man. I don't even know how your kid will look like. So thank you so much for watching our news. And my name is Bada Boloyangi. Good night.